Hey guys, not again. No. One private, Yehaya Sani, a soldier attached to the 74 Supply and Transportation Brigade, 82 Hairborne and uh, Amphibious Division of the Nigerian Army, has stabbed his colleague, Private Ali Yumusa, for allegedly accusing him of stealing. According to military sources, the incident occurred on Monday night in Enugu, Motopolis. Sahara reporters learned that Musa had complained that his phone was missing, alleging the only person waiting before the, he lost the phone was Yaya. 23 NNA stroke 85 stroke 10 stroke 47 private Yaya Sani of 74 Supply and Transportation Brigade start his course mate, Private Aliyu Musa of the same 82 Division, 74 Supply and Transportation Enugu with a dagger on his hand, on his head Monday night while they were both coming back from New Artisan in Enugu, Motopolis, one of the sources told Hara reporters. Private Musa was complaining that his phone got missing while they were in transit and Private Sani Yaya was with him at the spot before the sudden disappearance of his phone. All efforts to know who was with his phone was fertile, which resulted to him attacking Yaya. Private Yaya Sani, who is in retaliation, held his, his, his hand, uh, disarmed, Private Musa and stab him on his head with dagger. Private Musa is currently receiving treatment in 82 uh, DHSH, while Private Yaya Sani is currently under custody for further investigation in 82 Division uh, Garrison Guard Room. The incident is coming a few days after another soldier attached to the 82. Airborne and Amphibious Division Private Mohamed Adamu killed a pregnant woman, Miss Tabra. Sahara reporters had on Saturday exclusively reported how Adamu, with service number 2021 NA80-0365, stabbed the later uh, the late Tabra. Sahara reporters learned that. The Nigerian Army had between 2020 and 2021 observed 400 members of the civilian JTF into its food to assist in persecuting the war against Boko Haram terrorists. While confirming the incident in a statement on Sunday, Major General Unye Mangwachiku, the Director of Army Public Relations, claimed the former or repentant insurgents had never enlisted into the organization. He, however, said considerations were given to the Civilian Joint Task Force, that is CJTF, who in the fight against terrorism and insurgency in the North, in the Northeast, distinguished themselves morally and uh, patriotically. Okay. Now that they see and say now different, different things now, now they see for they see with uh, an Nigerian army, you know. This is frustration, you understand? This is really, really frustration in their own sight. The Nigerian government should look into the welfare of these people. You know, say that they talk, say, an hungry person is an angry person. No? There is no two way about it. These people, they keep on attacking themselves because they are frustrated. Yes, that is the truth. And apart from that, that issue of um, enlisting those people, those Boko boys, eh, into Nigerian army, they have to look into it. Too. They have to look into it seriously before these people keep on, you know, killing themselves. Well, Nigerians have reacted to this uh, news. Let's hear what they have said. All are the hand work of repentant Boko boys. Okay, that is how I'll be calling it because of community guidelines. Thank you, Jaja Jehovah. More 
calamities until they let go the prophet of God, Mazin Namdekanu. Nigerian politicians, dubious, traditional rulers, and all their armed forces shall never sleep, even at the middle of the night. No peace for them, you, for you all. These are reactions from Nigerians. I love the fact that it is not IPOP that stabbed the army officer. I love many words unspoken. These are the people recruited to defend Nigeria, right? They should remove that GOC and his officers and replace them to restore discipline. That Enugu 82 division is turning to something else. When soldiers stay too long in the northeast and they are posted to peaceful southeast, they start to misbehave. When they don't see an innocent person to buy, and label him or her any name they, they like. They will start buying one another. Karma is real. If a military personnel can attack another in public, imagine what he will do to a civilian in secret. We are not civil. Let's be careful how they don't even drag anything with them most of them are not your regular soldiers but of that <laughs> i won't say it okay so guys when i don't hear the matter now how you see this one because the matter it get us it be this is the second time we are hearing this in this the same week in the same 82 division what is actually going on in that division well uh, I'm dropping it here, guys. Let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Oh, thank you for like, stopping by. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening in Nigeria today.